Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at this knife here from the Cold Steel 2021 collection, the Kyoto One. Let's get into this. Please, please hold, please hold, please hold, please hold, please, 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 please. It's my pleasure to present Jimmy Slash. All right, so this came in the other day with my AD15 Lite and the Leatherman Mini and the hand brush, hair brush. Check this out, the Kyoto one. Kyoto, you know what I'm saying? Do anybody know what that's from? Kyoto. You don't, don't pretend. Check that out. There's some of the specs on that thing. All right, have a look-see here. Let me wipe some of the smudges off of here, there we go. Very shiny, still smudgy on there, but there's the cover right there. They go fits in the hand really nicely. I got my son out here earlier. Now, for me, it's a little bit small right through here. Now, I think if I put a lanyard on there, it would work a lot better. Let's see here. So, one, two, three. What are we looking at? Like 3.4 inches of, what does it say here? Yeah, three and a quarter. It's a little bit more than three and a quarter on my, my scale here. So like 3.39 inches of that HCR 13. I know a lot of people like HCR 13. Why couldn't they make it? What are you gonna be doing with this knife that you eat? You gonna stab somebody? And it's not gonna work. <laughs> You're dead. I got mugged. You know he tried to stab me with HCR 13. Bounced right off of my skin. No, this is gonna work for what it's supposed to work for. Now, if you're looking at a hard use work knife, this is not it. This is definitely a pokey pokey you know stab you know you get some use out of it obviously but it's for what it's worth i mean hcr 13 and even the price on cold steel right now which is like 30 bucks is not is not bad for this now i promised i wasn't going to do this but i lied so what we're going to do here now for on live tv i'm gonna stick a landing on there just to show you how this should work just real quick, you don't have to watch. So you put a lanyard through there. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna tie it, I'm just gonna put it through there. So, now I got this, and I got that lanyard, I'm holding on to it with that extra pinky. This thing's awesome. So, see that? So you get that lanyard, got a little extra pinky on there. Now, we're talking about a fantastic, fantastic knife there. Okay, pink lanyard, who would do that? Okay, so this is the Kyoto One Tanto Blade, Japanese Tanto Blade, HCR 13. Now, there's no information up on the website about the knife. So, I'm just going to make stuff up. Finally, woven handle here made from the skins of virgin sea otters. No, that's Crayx, I think is what it says. Yeah, it's Crayx. It's all, it looks woven, but it's not. It's that Crayx uh, plastic stuff. But... I wanted to know if this was all the way full tang on this thing. And so I got one of those little tiny magnets. You've seen the other knife reviewers. They got the tiny magnet. So I brought this out. And yeah, it looks like it's full tang. <laughs> it's, it's, it's magnetized all the way through this thing. <laughs> oh, man, this is my favorite toy as a kid, by the way. Let's see some excellent magical powers just real quick. <laughs> I'm going to stab myself. All right. Don't use this as a phone. You know, like, hey, what's going on over there? You'd be picking up Radio Tokyo in your head. All right. So this thing, very, very stabby. Very nice. Craig's handle. Oh, we saw excellent lanyard. Definitely going to need a lanyard for this if I carry it. I don't know. I think it would make a really cool. It's a little bit big for a neck knife as far as thickness. But I think it would be really, really cool to have as a neck knife. If you could, you could catch, you know, carry it off, I think it would be awesome. So, let's see what else we got here. Lanyard, grip. It's hard to talk about fixed blades. Of course, a lot of people don't like the Secure X sheaths because it dulls up the knife, they say. I don't know. Haven't had this in long enough, but it locks in nicely. On that one, the sharpness on this, let's check the belly hair here. Let's go all the way over to here. You know, it doesn't seem to be catching that well. 
Maybe it's because I'm afraid to scratch myself with it. It feels sharp, but maybe it's just not made for shaving. All right, no, I guess not. Let's check the coupon. Maybe I'm just messing that up nicely. Let's see what we got coupon-wise here. This doesn't count for anything. We haven't got a coupon contest going on. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just pretty, pretty sharp there. Yeah, I just can't get to the belly here good enough with that, that blade shape, I think. I think I'm afraid of puncturing myself. Yeah, because it's sharp. All right. So what I'm going to do is just going to stab a little bit with it and see... You know, I know a lot of people don't like the HCR 13, but what are you going to use this for? Seriously, this isn't going to be your hard use work knife. This is going to be something you break out, maybe cut some 550, maybe open some packages, maybe break out, show your friends. I mean, it's a good neck knife, but I, I just wouldn't call it like a hard use kind of neck knife. Okay, let's stab this box over here. <clears throat> well, let's let's get, empty out the box first before we stab it. What could be in this box? I don't even know. I mean, who knows what could be. Oh. <laughs> Let's look in there. <laughs> What's that for? Oh my gosh. Seriously? <laughs> Two of them. That's craziness. All right, let's put those away for a different time and a different thing. Definitely coming back into play, though. So keep those in mind at a different video. But let's check this out. Seriously. So, I mean, obviously, just super stabby. I hope I took those knives out. I did. Man, I like that Tanto blade. Don't you guys like that Tanto blade? Very cool. Very stabby. With the HCR 13, not, not a lot of people are a fan of that. But I wouldn't be a not fan of it for this knife. I understand if you got a nice pocket knife. Let's see. You know, maybe you don't want your lawman to be an HCR 13 because you're using it a lot. So you're breaking down boxes and you want this to be just something that's going to last and last and last. But that HCR 13 is going to hold up for you for what it's supposed to hold up for you. So what would you use this knife for? Seriously, I think it would be a great neck knife. You know, great sidearm, you know, kind of bring out knife. Definitely, I mean, I'm not a great knife fighter or anything, but it would definitely get somebody's attention in a stabby situation give you an extra little handle there to deter the attackers all right now what i have here is a fine piece of hickory this is a hickory uh what you call it cutting board and i'm just gonna stab into this with that point and see how it holds up that acr 13 and maybe it will sell you on the idea that you don't need a super steel all the time so i'm gonna get my glove out here because we're always doing safety around here. Never do anything crazy. Not after that one guy, Stumpy McGee. <laughs> Stumpy McGee. <laughs> Poor Stumpy. <laughs> Him and his brother Lefty. <laughs> All right, so this is just hard, hard, hard hickory. Just uh, take that out. So if you stab in hickory, man, he's screwed. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, Check that out. Holding up to some good stabs in the hickory. I mean, I don't know what you're going to be stabbing into. Now, I ain't got a car door or, you know, a metal plate or anything like that. Well, I do it in my head, but that's different. No, I don't have one in my head. So, I mean, I stuck that in there pretty good. And it's, you know, it's HCR 13. It's holding up. It's still stabby. Where's my box? Where's my stabby box? Here it is. Stabby box. Still, still good to go. I know it doesn't seem like I'm stabbing hard, but you can't stab this hickory much harder. It's not like I can stab through it. I can stab into it. <clears throat> oh, don't use your left hand. That's your important hand. That's your ungloved hand. Woohoo! <laughs> That's your Michael Jackson hand. Dun 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 dun. Oh, now I'm demonetized. All right, so there you go. Check that out. No damage to that at all. I mean, we stabbed a good one, two, three, four, five. This, Helen Keller could tell you how many times we stabbed on this thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. Ten stabs. Ten stab wiggles. Stab, wiggle, stab, wiggle, stab, wiggle. Stab, wiggle. 
sounds like a weird, demented kid's kid show. Hey, kids, welcome to Stab Wiggle. <laughs> oh, I got to quit getting so much sleep. So there you go. Check that out. Very cool. I mean, it's not hurting that at all. ACR 13. It's not a huge joke. If y'all are not getting this knife because it's ACR 13, you're missing out on a really cool knife. Like I said, I had my son out here. He has a normal size hand, and it fit his hand nicely. My, my hand, even in my hand, that's still going to work. That's still going to work as, you know, what you want it to work for. Let's see. Let's just cut a little bit of cardboard here with that. We'll snap through it. See, so yeah, I can't. There you go. See? I'm not getting a whole lot of leverage on that, but I'm getting enough. So, see, it's wanting to slip out of that pinky. But y'all, with normal size fingers, are not gonna have a problem with it. 30 bucks, you're not gonna have any more fun with a neck knife than this. You're not gonna have, you know, you can wait around. Sure, you can wait around until it's 20 bucks at Blade HQ or whatever. But for 30 bucks, you get it a little bit earlier, and it's fun to play with. And it's a cool knife. And you do a lot of things with it. So there you go. That is the Kyoto one. Kyoto. Tell me what that is down in the comments. All right. There's all the specs one more time. In case y'all missed them the first time. Have a look there. I like it a lot. I'm glad I bought this knife. That's two for two as far as the knives I reviewed from that 2021 collection. I really like the 8015 light. And I really like this Kyoto one. It, it just feels like something. And it's what's cool about it all bloody and gooey. Like if you wanted to use it as a kitchen steak knife or something. Ooh, that would be a good steak knife. Wouldn't that be fun to take out of the steakhouse? That would be fun. Okay, so. Use number two besides stabbing into hickory boards. Steak knives. Very cool. I think that would be awesome. That would be a cool. I wish I had this piece of steak here to show you. Do I have any steak? I don't have any steak. All right. I should buy more steak. So there you go, the Kyoto One Cold Steel 2021 collection. I really like it. I recommend it. If, you, if you're into these kind of Japanese looking sword knives, which, man, it's hard to, hard to not be with a cool looking knife like that. Now, you're not getting the high quality, like I said, you know, what do they call the Devil Ray wraps and Stingray, you know, inlays and whatever. But it, it, it's, it's a really cool knife. And you're going to miss out. If you poo-poo it because of the steel. I think that's it. Let me know what you think down there. Do you have anything like this? Are you thinking about getting this? And I'll talk to you later.